Oh yeah. Here we are trying to find the center of the car. I've got a spirit level up the front, which is uh, 90 degrees to the horizontal. That's what the piece of wood is. I've had to jack the car up by using the jack to get the car horizontal. And the piece of wood is an equal distance up the wing. Uh, both sides with a spirit, little spirit level on. I did it with a big one, then I put the little one on because uh, that's just a reference to make sure the, drip, the jack is slightly leaking. So that's a bit of a nuisance. But um, put that vertical on, which is the equal distance across the headlamps. And I've already worked out that it's pretty equal around the front radiator. And I've got the same thing going on at the back. I've got the spirit level. It's in the middle of uh, this shape for the rear light so the lights will the, the lines will be equal either side of that and everything else will be positioned to suit including the hinges even though this boot lid isn't exactly in the middle but i've got to put the lines slightly skew with across the car but you aren't going to notice that because they were absolutely drunk as a skunk before but uh, as you can see down through and on the the bonnet on the the front scoop on the air scoop it's pretty good i'll just do another quick video in a second show you what i mean what you can quick do. shot of what i'm on about so now you've got a vertical you can pull the string tight slide it down the vertical and where the string hits the car you can put a pencil mark up there let's see where the strings hit in the car carry on bend it down there carry on it keeps that string dead straight all the way down the center of the car that's what i'm going to do mark that and then once i've done that i can measure either side and do what size lights uh lines i like but basically that works pretty good see i've got the vertical at the other side and it just goes the string just goes up. oh yeah started uh painting some of the actual color on the car i've done some of the white inside the le mans roof and i've just put some uh, as you can see some stripes up the inside of the bonnet and that's as far as i've got that's actually uh it isn't actually base coat it's a bit of white top coat basically and uh, i've just wet and dried it back down now it's been on there 24 hours and I've just flat it off again and uh, now I can mask that off and um, paint the blue next to it either side and down the middle and then once I've done that I'll uh, there's a small edge there I'll just knit any of the blue that's a little bit standing high there I'll very very carefully nib off that edge and um, I'm not going to be rubbing like this but just just literally just stroke the edge away and then i'll just once it's uh, ready i'll give it three quarters of an hour i'll clear it put a uh, clear coat on here probably give it a couple coats probably give it might give it two or a a light coat and then a, a full gloss coat or the best gloss coat i can give it and that'll be it then i'll let that go once that's good enough i don't know 24 hours or 12 hours whichever it's hard enough i can turn it over and do the other side and what i'm going to do is uh, like I've done here and I've just nicked it through there so I have to just puff a little bit of base on there base white just nick through there I'm going to bring the blue up to there and then I'm going to bring that blue around that corner so uh, it'll blend around I should just do like a soft edge there from underneath with the tape and that'll be that and there'll be just a small amount of just polishing around this edge and that's what I'm intending to do so if you well if you analyze it you might just about be able to see the the edge but uh, i think it's going to be good enough but that's looking quite good and that's uh, as far as i've got it sort of makes a bit more of it i suppose underneath the bonnet it looks a bit i don't know better than just a flat undersurface and by the time i get all the fittings around here and the scoop in with the uh color in it as well that's gonna look quite uh quite apart i might i don't know i have to think about that i might just do the inside of the scoop 
plain white i don't know i may not put the line up through it that might be a bit silly i don't know i haven't quite worked that one out not sure what's actually going on here these holes these three holes are further in than those three holes and i've measured it out and that's they are slightly further out than there so uh don't blame me i didn't do it but uh yeah it would work out if they were the right those would be that hole would be about there so that distance from there to there is different to there to there and that to there that to there so it would be more equal it wouldn't be exactly the same um but yeah don't know what happened i didn't do it don't blame me